Hey guys, this is going to be another quick Linux command video. Check the link in the description for more info and for copy and paste examples. The Linux SEQ or sequence command outputs a sequence of numbers. So this is useful when used in, with a for loop. So almost all the time you're going to see this being used with a for loop, but you can use it by itself if you uh, if you feel like it or if you have a use case that might require that. So we're going to show you how you can use this in a for loop, but first we're just going to show you how to use this command by itself, just so you understand the command itself. Um, so for yeah, first we're going to show you SEQ. We're going to show you how this command works by itself. At the end we're going to show you a for loop example. So SEQ 10 so this will give you a sequence from 1 to 10. Notice it starts at a 1 and not at 10. And notice it gives you each number on a different line, which may or may not necessarily be what you want. So you can do a sequence. Um, let's say if you want to go from, this is, if you just specify 10, that's, it, by default, it's going to start at 1 and it's going to go, and 10 will be, if you just specify one number, that's the ending number, right? So you can specify, say, for example, 5 to 10, and it's going to, start at 5 and go up to 10 or you could specify 5 to 25 if you want right so you can also specify 5 3 25 like this now that means it's going to start at 5 it's going to jump it's going to increment by 3 each time and it's going to go up to 25 so that will go like this so it goes 5 and it adds 3 for 8 adds 3 for 11 adds 3 for 14 and so on and so forth so that lets you, you know, every third number. Um, so starting starting number, increment, and the uh, finish number or the you know, the ending number. So in any case, you can also separate with a space instead of a new line if you want. So for example, you can just say dash s and quote a space like this, and there you go. It's special. It's separated by spaces instead of new lines. So that's kind of nice. You can also specify other things to separate by, like dashes or basically anything you want, right? You could specify random text like that, and it's going to separate it like that. So, you know, not that that's super useful, um, but yeah, ch changing the, the separator can be incredibly useful. So in any case, um, you can format the output if you want. So um, let's see here. You can say dash F for format, and for example, you might say modulus, um, let's say O4G, right? So this will, this is how you might format it, and that will, uh, you know, this will pad it with this, this zero pads the numbers, right? So everything is at, at least, it's zero padded, and it's up to, and it's going to make sure everything is at least four spaces, right? So that's all fine and great. I'm not going to get too deep into formatting. This uses basically the same formatting as you would for, you, you know, a lot of like print statements in, in basically every scripting or programming language there is. So um, yeah, we're, we're just going to leave that at that for now and not expand upon that. So next thing you can do is pad with zeros, yeah, zeros to equalize with. So you could say seq dash w five three and let's just say 25 right so let's print this out and there we go so we're going to pad so pad with zeros to equalize the width so however many zeros you need to have um and, and let's say if you made this a nine it, it doesn't need to pad it right but um whatever however many zeros it needs to make these all the same width it's going to do that if you use a dash w Whereas if you specify a specific format like this, you can have a little bit more control there. So that's um, that's everything I wanted to show you for this specific command. Let's try it in a for loop. So for i in, let's say dollar sign, I see q. Let's go 0 to 10. Let's just start at 0. And let's finish this up like this and do echo dollar sign i done, right? And that's going to basically do the same thing as sequence. So it basically just runs this sequence. And this loop will loop over this sequence, every item in this sequence. And for each loop, each um, iteration of this loop, um, the current value is i. And so for each iteration of the loop, you're going to, you're going to do a command called echo 
and then you're going to print echo out the value of the variable and then it's done so the other way you can do this um, basically you're just um, running this command and using that as the sequence that you're going to loop over in your your for loop so that's the equivalent of like, like let's say if you made this a five right that's the equivalent of saying zero one two three four five just like this same thing so if you were to actually type out the numbers like this that's the equivalent of running them in, in a statement like this you can just use the sequence to generate this sequence of numbers and then whatever the output is from this sequence command you can um you, you can basically use that as a value when you uh you, you do that with a dollar sign in parentheses like this but there's another way to do that you can also use a back tick like this notice that's not a single quote that's a back tick so back tick like this and there you go Sa same thing so basically you can use back ticks or you can use um the dollar sign in parentheses and everything inside them it basically allows you to run a command and the output of that command is treated like a value as if you had typed that that value out in place right there and that that's how we put a for loop together using the sequence command and that's basically everything I wanted to show you for the sequence command today. Real simple thing, but if you don't understand it, um, it does help you to understand this and it helps you to uh, write scripts. It'll help you writing scripts and, uh, um, you know, it'll help you with your bash scripting and stuff like that. It's, it's kind of an important thing to understand. Remember, check the links in the description for more info. Hit the subscribe button for more useful content like this. We also have a ton of other more interesting content covering things like coding, hardware, software, servers, Raspberry Pis, 3D printing, and a whole lot more. Hopefully you found this useful. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys on that next video.